and if you have something little bit of leftover from rasam it's a vegetarian vegan dish i am converting into a mutton rasam that's made with goat or sheep meat whichever you can get so make sure you see the whole video to get the real rasam of this story rasam Hi everyone welcome to my channel Joss Moses Kitchen Today I am making rasam This dish is a South Indian dish and it's a good combination with rice and it's like a soup like consistency This is good for health and for digestion also Place a pan and turn it on. The smell or aroma from the dry roasting of the, all the spices will come out. Let's turn off the heat. Let's crush the dry spices. I'm using this technique to get extra flavors into the dish. You can use a blender, but just crush it. Don't paste it. Let's extract the pulp from the tamarind infused to the water. Let's test the shallots, ginger, and garlic in a blender. Let's blend it. Just crush. Don't paste. Just crush, don't paste. That's a flavor. Let's start for rasam. We are making the rasam very fast with a few seconds. So we are placing a pan. We are filling it and turning it on also. At the same time, we are doing all the stuff.
the aroma from the spices so good then add the crush shallots stir all the spices add turmeric Let's cut the tomato while the spices are cooking. Just rough cut. Let's add to a bowl. We can mash with the hand, or if you are not comfortable on hands, use a spoon or a masher to mash all the tomatoes. Let's add the tomatoes to the spices and combine. Combine. Let's add the tamarind pulp. Let's add one more cup of water and let it come to just boil. Let's add salt, just enough. Just come to the boil, then you can turn it off. Just wait for another one moment. Add some asphodida at the last and combine. Resums are always thinner but when you make the rasam like this like mashing the tomatoes and crushing the shallots you will get a little bit of thicker version it will be more tastier than a liquid one this rasam when i make it's very thick not very thick but it's a little bit thick than the real consistency if you don't like this consistency don't mash the tomatoes just cut the tomatoes and place into the rasam so the resum is ready now. I rested for just 5 to 10 minutes to get infuse all the flavors from the tamarind, from the tomatoes, from the spices to get a nice resum flavor. That's a mix of flavors like sweetness, tartness, sourness, spiciness, touch of spices all together. So let's taste now. The real taste of rasam means all the flavors in one dish. If you get leftover of rasam, don't worry. I have a method to, to make this rasam into a non veg, convert into a mutton rasam. Let's move on to the video. For changing the rasam to a non veg treat, I am using the goat meat, the real taste coming out from it. Let's, Let's cook the mutton. The mutton is ready now. It's soft. Let's add the soft mutton to the not leftover or you can make a rasa also. Add to the rasa. And stir well. And bring to boil when I'm making the rasam I already told not to boil too much but on this case when you're adding the mutton to get the flavor infused to the rasam you have to boil well let the flavor from the rasam goes inside into the mutton and all the flavors makes into a beautiful mutton rasam
turn the heat off add some ghee the clarified butter clarified butter it's melted already and i rested for 10 minutes to get that flavor infused to it then just give it stir let's do the final touch tasty wow the mutton flavor is infused to the rasam so it's enhanced all the flavors from rasam to a different level Let's taste the both rasam with the matta rice. Both sides, two kinds of rasam. One is vegetarian and the mutton. So let's taste the vegetarian first. There's a reason behind why it's called as rasam because all the tastes are infused well. And this is one of the best recipes you can find. And let's move on to the Mutton rasam. Wow. The fat from the mutton and the clarified butter makes this dish something way different. Very soft mutton. See? Very soft. Wow. I cannot stop anymore. This mutton rasam, it's almost like a pie. 